Hello, in this video I'm going to revisit a program called UVK or Ultra Virus Killer. I made a video on UVK about a year ago and since then it has changed significantly. So I'm going to install and review the 2013 version of UVK. UVK has been designed to look and feel like the Windows 8 Metro screen by using tiles that are compatible with touchscreen devices. And I'm running Windows 8 in VirtualBox for this video, but UVK is also compatible with Vista and 7. There's a lot to this program, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on just one feature. I'm going to go rather quickly to make sure all features are covered. And I'm going to begin by opening a web browser. And in the search box, I'm going to type UVK. I'm going to click on the UVK Ultravirus Killer link from www.carefred.com. On the home page, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. These are the servers that you can download the program from. I'm going to download from the recommended server. To the right, this is the executable file. Down below, there's also a portable version of UVK. So you can carry it along with you and use it on any computer. I'm going to click on the UVK setup.exe. If you have the option to run, go ahead and run. I'm going to save. When it's finished downloading, I'm going to double click on it to run it. I'm going to accept the end user license agreement. To the right, there's options. You can create a system restore point, run the application after install, add UVK to the right click context menu, associate logs with .uvk files, create desktop shortcuts, use auto update and use tool tips. I'm going to leave all those checked. I'm going to click install. And we'll begin by creating a system restore point. And this is the user interface of the program. And as I said before, it has a Windows 8 kind of feel to it with all the tiles. Definitely designed for touchscreen devices. And I'm going to start with the system booster. The system booster helps you to fix system errors, improve performance, and free hard disk space. If I click on it, you have the option to run a system file check. You can back up your registry. You can register system DLLs, create a restore point. And then we can continue to the system booster. I'm going to go ahead and continue to the system booster. And once again, here's the option to run a system file checker. Register your system DLLs, back up the registry, restore the registry, empty temp folders, clean browser cache create restore points and defragment the registry. So it's basically a cleanup tool. To the right it says choose the areas to scan below and it gives you all kinds of different areas to scan. I'm going to go back to the welcome screen. Next I'm going to go to smart uninstaller. The UVK smart uninstaller is a fully featured replacement for the add remove programs control panel feature in Windows. When you're using the UVK smart uninstaller you're able to uninstall several programs at once force uninstall of stubborn programs, get information about the uninstall entry, delete the uninstall entry without uninstalling the program, change the way the uninstall entries are displayed in the list, and a lot more. This is pretty much like the IOBit uninstaller, which is one of my favorite programs to use. And this works just as well. And if I clicked on it, it would show me all the programs that are installed right now. And here's the options here to force uninstall if needed, scan and remove remnants, try unattended uninstall and hide Microsoft signed files and if I wanted to uninstall a program I could right click on it and click on uninstall selected programs and as you can see with the right click menu there's a lot of options here you can uninstall entry properties uninstall the programs delete uninstall entries so I'm going to go ahead and click uninstall selected programs and it will begin uninstalling the program and the program has been uninstalled. So I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to go back to the welcome screen. Next we're going to go to options. Under options you can select your preferences. You could protect UVK with a password. You could add UVK to the file and folder context menu. Associate .uvk files with UVK. Create a desktop shortcut. Use auto update, show tool tips, and always on top. 
and once you select everything you can save the file to the right you have the option to view the command line help create command scripts if you have check disk scheduled you can cancel check disk you can cancel reset user defaults on reboot you can check for updates report a bug you can also change the scan if you wanted to make a donation and I'm gonna go back to the welcome screen and I'm gonna go to process manager in the process manager there's five columns there's the executable path column that shows the full path of the process executable file the publisher column contains the corresponding publishers name the CPU column shows processor usage the RAM column shows memory usage and the PID column shows the process identifier for each entry there's three check boxes you can hide critical processes you can delete the parent file when killing the process and you can also kill all processes with the same path and all I'd have to do is highlight whatever I wanted to kill click on kill process or I could also right click and click on kill selected process and I'm going to go back to the welcome screen next I'm going to go to memory modules manager this section allows you to detect and delete infected memory objects the list shows all running processes and I could right click on one and view the properties I could move the selected module to the recycle bin delete selected module permanently or kill the process and delete the memory module and I'm going to go back to the welcome screen next I'm going to go to auto run manager here you can view all the programs that are set to auto run and again you can right click on it look at the properties delete the entry delete the entry and the file or verify the file signature or submit it for a virus report you can also create startup entries there's settings you can show all auto run settings hide system protected files hide all Microsoft files hide all digitally signed files you could also verify the file signatures and select the users that you want to show to start up entries. I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to go back to the welcome screen. Next I'm going to go to service manager. Here you can view all the running services and their drivers. You have the option to stop the service, start the service, pause the service, resume service. You can actually set a service to start at a certain time. You can delete the services you could also delete the file you can view the service properties stop all non Microsoft services under list settings you can show all services hide system protected files hide all Microsoft files hide all digitally signed files you can verify the file signatures and hide inactive services and I'm gonna go back to the welcome screen and I'm gonna to go to alternate streams manager this section allows you to search and manage alternate data streams. Alternate data streams are created to provide compatibility with HFS or the old Macintosh hierarchical file system. And you have the options to ignore common alternate data streams or show only unsafe alternate data streams. And I'm going to click to show only unsafe alternate data streams and leave the top one checked. And I'm going to click start scan. It's asking me to select the root drive or folder to scan. I'm going to select the C drive and I'm going to click OK and it will begin scanning and looking for alternate data streams and I'm going to stop this and if it did come up with some results you could view the properties you could delete the stream if you wanted to you can save the stream under a different name and I'm going to go back to the welcome screen next I'm going to go to delete files and folders here you can manually type the full path of the file or folder you wish to delete in the text box and press enter to insert a new line you can also drag and drop the files or folders that you wanted to replace or remove into the interface. If you're using Windows Vista 7 or 8, if you have user account control enabled, this feature does not work. And what you do is select the files that you want to delete. And once you have the file selected, you can click on the delete listed and you can also delete entire folders at once. If you want to replace or copy a file, you would first browse for the source file. Once you had that, you would browse for the location of the file that's going to be replaced. Now I'm going to go back to the welcome screen. Next I'm going to go to scan and create log. 
Here you can select the areas that you want to have scanned. You can scan running processes and memory modules, the Win logon and startup entries, Internet Explorer toolbars, VHO and shell execute hooks, image hijacks, services, drivers, and scheduled tasks, uninstall list, contents of the C drive, LSA providers and blocked hosts, unsafe alternate data streams, recent file, and then you could also use custom settings. To the right, you can select to show Microsoft files, verify file signatures, and show file MD5 hashes. And I'm going to go back to the welcome screen. I'm going to go to run scripts. In this section, you can type special custom commands that allow you to perform many kinds of tasks to disinfect and repair your computer. You can also copy lines from the UVK log and paste them into the box. So if I were to click on full system repair script, Here's the script here. If there's something that I didn't want to run, I could just take the entry, delete it, and it won't run that task. You can run a full maintenance script. You could also run a repair and maintenance script. Down below, you can create a restore point before running the scripts. Empty the temporary folders, empty the recycle bin, and create a log. You can import commands from a file. You can run the script that's listed. You can view the log, and I'm going to go back to the welcome screen. And I'll go to tools. This section includes several tools for file registry and system restore information and management. Here you can select the file that you want to manage. I could submit it for a virus total report. I could also lock the file, unlock the file, unlock and delete the file and then scan with the system file checker. You could also edit the registry if you wanted to and you can manage system restore points. You can delete selected restore points or you can create a new restore point and you could also disable the system restore. And I'm going to go back to the welcome screen and next I'm going to go to system repair. System repair is loaded with all kinds of different Windows repairs everything from resetting Internet Explorer and Internet settings to fixing the WMI and the system restore problems fixing Windows sidebar you can run a check disk cancel check disk rebuild your icon cache install and update DirectX install and update Java Flash.net framework and install Windows Fixit Center you can also run a cleanup, empty all user temp folders, empty all browser cache, delete all browser cookies, clear Windows event logs, and free physical memory. You can run a system file check, register system DLLs, delete all restore points, optimize boot and shutdown, and defrag and optimize. So there's a lot of different repair tools in here. And if you wanted to use something within here, you just highlight it and it asks me if I'm sure I want to defrag the system drive and I'm going to click yes and it will begin defragmenting the drive. You can also fix and protect the file extensions. You would simply select the file extension you want to fix or protect. You click on fix extensions or lock extensions to protect it and then if you wanted to unprotect the extension you can click on unlock extensions and I'm going to go back to the welcome screen and I'm going to go to system info System Info will give you detailed information about your computer. And because I'm running in VirtualBox, this information isn't exactly correct. I'm going to go back to the welcome screen. And next I'm going to go to Useful Internet Links. This is probably the biggest change that I saw in the program, and probably the change that I like least. The older version of UVK would run a series of scans with four or five different antiviruses, one after the other. Those antiviruses are no longer included with the program. Now they just give you links, and all these links are to different places where you can download different antiviruses or anti-malware programs. And they give you links to everything from AVG to Avast, Malwarebytes, Super Anti-Spyware, Komodo, Hitman Pro, down below there's more malware removal and troubleshooting tools and if I were to click on any one of these it would take me right to the download page for that program it's a very useful tool I liked it better though when it would run the series of scans on its own
and I'm going to go back to the welcome screen and that's UVK Ultravirus Killer 2013 version there's a lot to it I'm sure I probably didn't hit everything but you get a good idea this is a very useful tool has all the tools that you would need all in one program it's very good for virus removal and system repair thank you for watching have a great day